tapped into that or you really got to be tapped into your own shit like literally or you'll get caught up because it's a it's a lot going on bro and people really be looking at people lives all day and just being wishing that is their life so you feel me <laughs> if you it, it breathes that same shit that ended up that get niggas shot that get niggas robbed all that because it's like a nigga will look at you and be like, he don't deserve that, you feel me? Yeah. And it's crazy. You be like, damn, what the hell I do to you? <laughs> You're right. But a nigga You're be right. like, nah, he don't deserve that. You know, niggas see you with your girl. Had niggas it. want your girl. Yeah. You be like, damn, why you want my girl, bro? <laughs> it's mad girls. When you really do the count on the women in, in the, the world. In the world. Or just in the state alone that you live in. <laughs> it's like facts. How is niggas beefing over women, bro? It's, it's crazy. That's the that's the wildest thing, like, and even we going what you even saying that we gonna touch on the trouble situation yeah. with that, like, this man will always be on live, mm-hmm. three four o'clock in the morning coming back, probably from when he called them snacks from his snacks cribs, mm-hmm. and he'll be always saying, "Don't go out bad about a snack," mm-hmm. and to me, like, I don't feel like Shorty set him up. That was a clear setup. I don't care if it was oh an angry boyfriend, who leaves their door unlocked at three o'clock in the morning. Nah, she didn't leave for. Uh, as far as I know, he got he a key. Me. He they had see. a key. I feel like he probably you know like the little hotel chains mm-hmm. on the door. She probably had that on the door, and he broke that. Yeah, bust through. Yeah, because police said it was forced entry, but but you think he about had it. A key. What nigga? You think I? Right, what nigga? That's a rapper. It's gonna be at somebody else's crib mm-hmm. and be sleeping that hard that you don't hear that. Nah, this the Atlanta life, bro. It's just that's how it works. Like I, honestly, bro, for real. Like Troll probably was caught slipping, like thinking like, damn, Shorty and Kanye. Yeah. Cause like I ain't gonna lie, if you a nigga from Atlanta, yeah. When a, when he meet a girl, and she like he like, what shit? Where you from, Shorty and all that? Like, Kanye. Shit, Kanye. Yeah. Like what? You ducked off. Yeah. Nobody don't know you. You ain't got nothing going on. Like you non-sociable. Like <laughs> you got a, you got five hundred followers. Like yeah, you cool, that's what you need. Uh, you yeah. cool, calm. I can come sleep at your shit. You go cook breakfast. No problem. Like niggas ain't even going normal there. Like you like, know what I mean. You know, honestly, nah. You, yeah, you that's how I, nigga. I, that's how I know. Like if she would have been like, yeah, I stay in. Let's just say for you know, Oxford. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. She would have been like, I stay in um off my, off McAfee. Off oh, no. oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you coming to me. Yeah. Who would ask? Like, you coming to me, bro. Me, me at the like, yeah, me. Me. yeah, I ain't coming there. Uh-uh. Yeah. You might see me at, on a hood day. That's the only time you catch me on your block. I'm with 21 or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I thought, uh, like, so I feel like that's what it was. But, you know, yeah. you just never know, bro. Like you could talk on all that shit, niggas be talking that shit, man. They probably and they all one time. You feel me? Like, like look at Jesus, bro. For <laughs> example, he was giving mad games. Yeah. He was helping mad people. Yeah. You feel me? And he, he ended up get it. got caught slipping under circumstances. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Even though it was quote unquote for us, it still yeah. is like this. What the only point I'm trying to make is that it's been happening for years, bro. Yeah. Like this is just how it go. You partaking in certain things. That's why at that age and with that much knowledge, yeah. it ain't the move to be no gigolo, no player, exactly. moving, bouncing like around from chick to chick. Yeah, yeah, you should be done, you know what I mean? Have it together, settle down and move so you're not victim to them circumstances. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because that's young nigga shit. Because you think about it, you got a, you got a wifey at the crib. Mm-hmm. That keep you out of mad trouble. Yeah, it do, bro. And it's like, she tell you what not to get into. She see your best interest at all times. When yeah. you got your woman, like, for real. So, she was somebody else wifey. Exactly. You feel me? Like, yo, <laughs> man was that. angry. Facts, you, see, like, you gotta think, like, that other man had rage in his heart to go straight yeah. in and kill a man. They like three years. I don't think, but I don't think that's what happened as far as I know. He wasn't really angry with the man. He was angry with her. He, so he, why he he was beating her up and son got up? Cause I mean, you think yeah, about you it. Let no you sleeping break. and you wake up and you seeing something that you was just dealing with getting the beats put on her. You going automatically. You gonna be like, yo, what's up? 
You know what I mean? So it's just like I said, an unfortunate situation. But it's like as far as like him now, it's like we all expected better. Because mm -hmm. when you had something happening to him, you automatically think, damn, I was some gangster shit. Yeah. You know, but when you had, it's like, how? You tell us about all this stuff? But, I mean, we men, bro. Yeah. And if a shorty you dealing with on them type of vibes, she yeah. just broke up with her man last week, so it ain't like he been dealing with her. Yeah, right. <laughs> so yeah. it's like, if she not keeping it real about her situation, and there's mad girls like that, that'll yeah. break up with that man for two days and be in the crib yeah. trying yeah. and fight next dick over. That's just how that shit go. Not you feel me? And then, you know, that nigga ain't over that shit. These niggas be in love, and they be ready to die about they chicks, bro. Right, so you just gotta move smart. Don't be trying to sleep at no chick crib, bro. Yeah, you know. for real. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And being 40 and being a gigolo is not the move. That shit played out. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it, bro. You gotta find somewhere to fucking call home, B. That's it's a so fact, hard. right? <laughs> You gotta have kids and shit and got there putting it together. Like, you that hear that? Crazy, man. You hear that? Men out there, if y'all are almost 30, hang it up. Hang up that player shit. Yeah. If, you, if you ain't, not nah, to be real, if you almost being 30 years old and you ain't got a wifey by then, you're the problem. <laughs> Let's you be real. Bro. You're the problem because it's not hard. There's a lot. There's way more females out there than there are men. So with that... You got a bigger ratio to pick from. And then girls are really loving more than they open up. More than girls. anything. Like, I'm saying more females are like what? that. What? Well, nah, not in 2022. Nah, you know what? I don't know. Maybe it's just... Nah, it's these, new, these new girls are different, bro. They cold, bro. <laughs> she just, bro, she just broke over this nigga a week, bro. He still got his Jordans and stuff in the crib. <laughs> <laughs> the man right. still got his damn his essential waters in the in the <laughs> closet, bro. His snacks. The the nigga like yo, bro. Me and my girl just had an argument, bro. I'm about to go to the kid. Yeah. Like damn, bro. She ain't called me, bro. No, bro. That ain't right, bro. Nigga go, go off home, the bro. shift. Maybe he probably worked at UPS or FedEx. Right, he or probably had some good news. Yeah, like he, he probably came home me. like, man, I got a job. Like we want to work through this shit. I'm sorry, I punched you in the face last week and left you. <laughs> It's, it's, I'm, I, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. that's how I be. It be let's just keep it real. Yeah, you right. And son got a whole next man laying up in the bed. <laughs> like any nigga is gonna bug out. I don't know about the clappings, but me personally, yeah. I wouldn't be on that type of time. Me personally, yeah, like if I if I was to, I'm not. First off, if I know a shorty got somebody over, I'm not gonna bombard in there doing none of that. I'm yeah, just gonna crazy. wait. You know what I do? Honestly, if I really was on that, I'd just wait till the morning, come back, knock on your door, and really wake y'all both up and be like, what's nah, going on? Come get what I was really trying to get. And that's Knock it. Some nigga kill you, you wake your ass up. Oh, no. <laughs> See, that'd be my <laughs> thing. Some gangsters, but <laughs> no. I'm leaving it alone. That's like, that's just like, you feel me? That's just like your, your blatant way of, uh, of a female saying that she's going to do that. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. Like, you feel me? Like, fuck out of here. So it's just like, you just got to cut off after that. Like, after anything after that, you're, mm -hmm. you're a sucker, bro. Yeah. After that, anything you're doing after that. You so you just, feel like the guy who shot Trouble was the sucker in the situation? Nah, I feel like Trouble didn't know what was going on. Probably got woke up seeing the nigga fighting shorty. Mm -hmm. And probably thought, like, it was an intruder. Or somebody breaking in the yeah. crib and trying to help her. And he got popped. See, there was multiple. See, it's like... But dude Stokes is in Ray, he mad. Yeah. So it's like he in the heat of the moment. So And I always say, like, it's always a thing I say, like, you know, a nigga that never shot a gun mm -hmm. will shoot you first than the nigga who, who shot a gun. As in out of fear. You know that nigga was yeah, thinking yeah, with nothing but emotions. Pop your ass. You know what I'm saying? That's so bad. with that, that's, that's why they got the gun. That's, that's why they got the gun. Pop yeah. your ass if you mess with that's what, but you know, nobody ain't throwing hands no more, and that's the sad part. Yeah. Like, really throwing hands, like, and... It's not sad, bro, because at the same time, I feel like people need to take shit more serious, like, at the end of the day. Like, don't play with me. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but we grew I up in a different say, era, like... But I say, you, you, you fight somebody, y'all both live to see another day. Y'all still don't like the solution after that? Y'all could fight each other every day, but then... Y'all gonna but I don't to wanna fight, honestly, respectfully. I don't wanna, if me and you want to yeah. see each other fight every day, 
But like I mean, me being like me right now, like maybe like I said, and as a kid, mm-hmm. it's different. Yeah. But I just feel like over time, people mm-hmm. forgot how to respect men as men, bro. Like yeah, as far as man on man. Yeah, 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 that's a fact. Timing. So it's just mm-hmm. like if something happens, something simple, like you cut me off in traffic and you wild me up. Yeah, that over that a simple thing, mistake is like. It's like you don't deserve to die. <laughs> but if you get out the car and you try to yeah, attack me or something, yeah. it's like I might give you a leg eyes just to teach you a, like, you know, mm-hmm. hold that, hold, respect me as a man. And we can move forward. And then now, I don't want to kill you, but next time you'll think twice. Like, yo, mm-hmm. nah, I ain't going to be on that time. You'll want to make, you'll want to have a solution. Yeah. Because I don't, I can speak for myself, but you got to understand that, especially coming up right now with the culture. It's a lot of people that really have this I don't give a fuck attitude, and that's the yeah. people we dealing with. Yeah. So that's the people I'm playing defense from at all given times. Mm-hmm. Other than that, if you good, I'm good. Word. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, that, that, it's, it's really that simple. You dealing with junkies sometimes these days. Yeah, you know, they on drugs, hurt. they're not thinking, they're not stable, you know? So they you can't. You can't come to a compromise or a solution with those type of people. They only see anger turn, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, boom, hold the leg, if you feel me, take one to the leg, go to the hospital, think about it. You feel me, feel the pain, get over that. Then next time, think about it, because then now you could grow up. You know what I mean? And you know how to move. Yeah. That makes sense. Like, I'm going to be real. Now, I always was a hot head growing up. Then I think it took one time I was in Miami and mm-hmm. I just got outnumbered. <laughs> I was like, I was I was just too angry mm-hmm. for for the setting I was in. I seen three niggas. I was like, yeah, I can't take all of y'all for real at the same time. Mm-hmm. But like, that's what I had to teach me. Like, I right, calm yourself down. <laughs> like, even I say, yo, I fight each one of y'all. Then by the second nigga, I'm mended. I'm I'm about to die. <laughs> So I feel like, like a lot of niggas just wasn't fighting because they a, a lot of niggas was fighting mm-hmm. before because they didn't have access to guns like how it is now. Really, yeah. You got niggas that's literally printing guns at their crib. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like the times we living in, people yeah, right. hitting buttons and printing weapons. So it's just a different time we living in. So you know, people ain't really trying to hear it. Yo, you see the Glocks got switches now. Hey, Yo, the worst crazy. thing, it's like who's creating these things? That's what I'm saying. It's the same people that's trying to lock you up for it. So it's just like you gotta pay attention. But it's like you feel me if you in that realm of what's going on, and you got yeah. people that's using switches against you, you what gotta you fight with you a gotta, regular. <laughs> yeah, you gotta <laughs> figure out a way to get a switch too. It's like it's crazy. It's like that's why I just say now you could have a good gun, you could have a Glock. But I bet you somebody else got a better gun that can shoot. So in the end of the day, you just always gotta think if you're gonna get into a gun battle with a nigga, a gun battle is made for you to shoot and get up out of there. Ain't yeah. just to sit there and shoot to y'all out of rounds. Like so, so speaking of the gun, how you feel about the, the law in New York I, with the concealment to carry and all of that? You know, I feel good about it because now when I travel up there, I feel even better. Cause I bring my shit. Cause it's like, I know I grew up there. I'm from Bronx, there. Mm-hmm. I know how to be to not have a gun, and everybody else got a gun around there, and they pressing it. Nah. And now going back there, I mean, I never had a problem there, but it's just like, still, you would want to have a gun with what's going on now. I think it's. I think it's gonna make New York worse, a lot worse. Nah, I feel to like, be honest, it like it's not gonna make New York safer. Cause it's like, look at the people you give them the access yeah, or the 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 the, uh, the privilege to carry these guns. Think about it, because like, I can I can't speak for the whole New York. I can only speak for New York City. Mm-hmm. That's where I grew up. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm from. So, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like a lot, not a lot of ten. The nigga you with, them niggas got felonies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's like, who's gonna get these guns? Like, who would who are all these people are going to be arming, you know what I'm saying? So it's probably going to be a lot of females mm-hmm. getting guns for their niggas. Yeah. The niggas is going to be carrying them shit, bro. And it's going to be full-blown war. Like, you got to understand, like, New York is in an era right now of gang wars. Like, yeah. niggas is getting already getting smacked and clapped. 
broad daylight with their kids. You give niggas the ability to carry the hammers 24-7, even if they bitch holding it or whatever the case may be, niggas is going to be dropping like flies, bro. New York is too cramped up. Like, yeah. it's not like here. Mm-hmm. Like, you feel me? You see how we could live over here and still, it could yeah. be popping for us right now in the mm-hmm. city. And yeah, we just good come man. over here and lay down and sleep and rest peacefully. Like, it ain't like that in New York. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you in the midst of this shit, and you living in it. And you right on top of each right. other, too, so... Nah, it's, it's gonna be... It's, it's gonna be... A, it's gonna be making New York a war zone, for sure. But for I sure. feel like they only did that because of the um the shit that happened in Buffalo. That's the only reason with that white dude coming around, killing all the black people. Yeah. That's the only reason they let that go, because... A nigga really came from another state with mad guns to where you know you can't have no guns and just kill all the black people. What's what's up with that? And like, and my thing is, if I was in that grocery store, I'm just being real. While the time that man was reloading, you not gonna try to save your own life or get up out of there. Uh, yeah, I would have. I would have spared that man. With everything but you gotta think, people, bro. Like, look at the people he killed. There's like older people. A lot of people that don't even like know. You know what I mean? Probably know what he was even doing when he trying to reload. They could probably barely even see. Yeah. You know that shit is pure chaos. You know man, what that I mean? man was going around chasing. It's just like really it's just a and it's just an unfortunate situation. It's just like. You got a whole, I know me personally, it just made me feel like, all right, boom, now mm-hmm. I got to make more moves to the supermarket with my girl, like, <laughs> it's just like that, like, you know what I mean? When I don't feel like going, I just got to go, you know, mm-hmm. keep it on me, you know? And it is what Always. it is, like, because I can't afford, you know what I'm saying, for no shit like that to happen to me and my family, but it can happen, like, so you just got to try to be prepared, be aware, be aware of your surroundings. Because for real, any nigga looking suspect on me, black or white, nigga. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm right, watching you, bro. That's a fact, because I'll be on it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you come from a place where it's savages, bro, you mm-hmm. know what they think like and how they move. And these niggas be rookies. They be dumb. So 9 yeah, out of 10, I'll be knowing what time they is They be whispering to each other. Yeah, they be like, weird shit. Like, nigga. <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, takes one to know one, nigga. So it's like, you feel me? I just, I just, I see it. Try to see it before it can happen, but mm-hmm. it's weird, bro. Like, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what these people be on, bro. What their That's purpose right. is for doing shit like that for them. Mm-hmm. But so rest in peace to them people. Man. It's crazy. Yeah. All right. So we at the end of it. So what would you say is like your last going out message before we head out? Yeah, man. I said all we can say, man. Stay real, man. That's it. You know, stay focused, stay tuned in too, man. Yeah. We're about to make this thing a regular thing, man. Yeah. And you know, just for the only thing, the last thing that I gotta say is, you know, just y'all, y'all, y'all niggas gotta start thinking out there before y'all do shit. Like, and y'all actions, that's what like people judge you from as a man. And y'all, y'all really looked at it as bitches right now. <laughs> it's like a lot of y'all, cause it's just movements and and how shit is just going right now. Everybody just need to do better. So I just say that, just just try to do better for yourself right now. Everybody. Yeah, find some love, man. <laughs> find love peace. in your life, man. Like, Get some love, it. man. If y'all need for real, find you a, a big girl or something, man. That Word, cook that can cook, bro. And rub your back <laughs> and all that, bro. And treat you with some, like, fuck somebody, Fuck what the homies man. say. Y'all fuck what the homies say, yo. <laughs> like, y'all niggas be, it's like y'all niggas in love with each other, man. <laughs> what? Word. Niggas talking about, yo, that's my heart. That's gay. <laughs> I ain't never call a nigga my heart. <laughs> that's gay, bro. Yeah, man. That's my life. Nah, bro, my life on. Nah, they literally be saying, like, yo, I, we fell in love, yo. We fell in love with me. Yeah, I be like, like what? <laughs> That throws me off, man. I, that's what I'm saying. It's a different time. Like, it's, it's crazy because, like, uh, we. I was just talking to my um. I was talking to my boy about the Drake album, yeah. the new Drake shit, and it's like, like how he changed up the sound. Yeah. How it's like everything is faster. He going crazy, whatever. 
And it's just like, I'm like, nah, I can't get down with that. Like, it's <laughs> moving down, moving that flexible, flexible ass shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. And it's just like, I sound like the old old nigga now. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like how, how them old heads was talking to me when we was doing our shit, you know what I'm saying? But shit, it don't crazy. come with growth, though. Yeah, that's how you fact. know, shit, you maturing. Yeah, that's like, a fact, that's a fact. So, you know, with that, it's the first episode of Talking Shit with Pros. And y'all tune in, man. Yeah, yeah.